Okay. All right, so you are being replenished. And I'm going to replenish me. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Who am I doing? Lori. <laughs> All right, we are still releasing Miss Gloria. Oh, wow. You look so bright now. Oh, my stars. Girl, you should feel good. Let me make me feel like that, babe. <laughs> oh, wow. That was something. Okay. Oh, my. All right, Gloria, I'm going to release you right now so I could just gather myself. <laughs> All right, Gloria, you have a wonderful day. I'm going to disconnect before I look at the next person so I don't carry any energy over there. we have okay fee i did you last week but i will do you again miss fee you said throat heart and root i did all that last week i'm see what you're looking like now you're vibrating at a beautiful gold with some strips of another shade of gold and some white oh so pretty so pretty <sighs> okay. Hmm. <sighs> okay. All right, Fee. You have a little bit of energy stuck around your second, your first, all your legs. It's like covered with this blue energy, like you're like stuck. Something just holding you back today. So I'm just going to release all of that. It's like it's hugging your legs. It's like restricting you. Even your feet. You're like bound up. Something holding you back today. Something that if we didn't release this today, you would be feeling stuck. You'd be like, what the hell is going on? I don't know what is wrong with me. That's what you would be saying. If you aren't already saying that. It is tight. It's hugging you like mummification. I am cutting through it. That's how tight it is. Like I have to saw it off. <laughs> All right, so now I am like peeling it off because it was very special on there. All right. All right, and I see you wiggling your legs, like shaking them. Like, whoo, freedom. All right, so let's get that out of here. Snatch that up into the light. Thank you. That was definitely, um, that was a being. I'm not going to go into where it was from or anything, but it was a being, not yours, not from you. You didn't call it in. From a male not on purpose all right your chakras look good your energy looks good i'm gonna pull that light that you have hovering around your head i'm gonna pull that through your body because that is so healing your body's gonna love feeling that especially after that restriction was gone Woo. All right, Fee, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm filling your aura up with that because, girl, that looks so good. All right, you look good, Fee. All right, now, who are we going to do? I'm going to clear you out, Fee. I think I skipped somebody. Mm. 
Angela. Okay, well, Angela, you're next. Give me a second. Okay. All right, I am new to this. The fifth chakra is blocked. I'm an empath, have relationship issues. Oh, my stars, girl. I did you last week, and I did some serious healing on you. And, um... And I didn't get into your relationship situation in a deep way. Um, and I'm remembering your reading. Thank God. Some of it. Um, you, I, I'm trying to remember. Let me just go from here because I'm, I'm hearing little things. Okay, so like I'm hearing that with your relationship, you actually want to be in it even though he is what he is um and i'm hearing the word on purpose this is not the same reading from last week i'm sorry that the recording didn't catch it um you are in it on purpose yes it is serving your highest good even though sometimes it feels funky if you want more of a reading on you and him S attach a picture of you guys th the next time I request readings attach a picture of the two of you I think I looked through your page too yes because I remember seeing your little people but I remember not knowing who the the man was so um, when when you want another when you want some thorough stuff on him I remember last week asking you to ask a specific question and also send me a picture of the two of you so that I can get a read on that. Um, I see a little spot in your fifth chakra and I'm going to release that but it's not like a nodule. So you've been holding on to stuff for a while so you have to stop because just stop you have to start releasing stuff um, I say feelings buried alive never die and when you don't release your feelings um, and they get buried within you they manifest on a physical plane so initially they may start out when they start manifesting physically they may start out like um, pain in your neck so you could be having pain up here or pain in your lower back However, yours is getting to the point where it will manifest physically, like as an ailment. So you definitely, I'm going to release from your fifth chakra, but you have something wanting to be a physical thing. So you, so can you write for her? This is Angela B. Um, do a serious healing on the throat. Um, and say saw physical something physical trying to manifest so um, I gotta work on that all right Angela all right so I'm releasing from this thing that's trying to be physical so I'm releasing from it right now but I want to take a look at it later and do some more work on it Six chakra, seven chakra, a little cloudy. Um, I'm gonna do a full chakra healing on you. Um, second and third, very blocked. Uh, you, you said you were an empath. Okay, so you take on other people's stuff and you don't release it. And I feel like you try to release it, but something is not working. Uh, I'm gonna release from there. That also affects your creative channels. You would feel block, cr blocked creatively uh, because your channels, they're very blocked. Uh, I'm going to remove that, release that. You need to turn your second and third chakras down. Um, let them be open 30% for right now. Um, so you could just see them, see a gauge by your second and third chakra, see the gauge from zero to 100, close it up to 30%, both of them. 
okay um, this will help you when you are working with people when you're encountering people it will help you to not absorb all of their energy you have to be releasing people's energy you may want to wear a piece of black tourmaline um, like I have a piece on I keep a piece of black tourmaline on uh, to just protect my energy centers to protect protect my being protect my space um, you definitely don't have to use tools like this I do because I am always on and so that means like I could walk by you and pick up your energy and so and I I am I'm doing so much sometimes I forget all about protection you know put my protection up and and then even if you have your protection up you still absorb a little bit that's why we teach you how to release other people's energy so um, wear a piece of black tourmaline and actually this young lady right here she actually wrapped these uh, for me she is awesome and I know I know for a fact she has a couple more pieces of black tourmaline so if you want one um, inbox me and um, she can have that shipped out to you within 24 hours so definitely inbox me if you want some stones she is fabulous at wrapping every piece is different but I know she has some black tourmaline you need that okay um, and I will actually do I will kind of do some healing on your stone as well uh, before she packages it if you want one so and get it ready for you but when you do get it definitely still smudge it um, um, you could or you could just um, sit it out in the moonlight in the sunlight or something like that or you can do some um,